previously in Trucking Season America. A bus put out its nose on the freeway. Come on, man. You put your nose out and then you stopped. The bridge over Congari River gave us hurt time. What? Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Can you see my wheel going crazy? And I almost crashed into a car in front of me. And this guy, this guy, almost. Hello everyone, Moves here to welcome you to channel 941 and the 10th episode of Trucking Season America. Today we got this truck again. Yes, this is the Peterbilt 389. It's a day cap. Let's go outside and check the truck, shall we? So this is our truck today. It's a Peterbilt 389 day cap. 6x4 axles with 370 horsepower engine and 1350 pound feet of torque. It has 150 gallons of fuel tank. And this one's a Eaton Ultra Shift FM 15E 310B LAS. That means 10 speed gearbox with no retarder. And today we are hauling 41,827 pounds of empty pallets from, from Kingsland, Georgia to Tallahassee, Pensacola. Yes, we are going to Pensacola through Florida, Alabama and Mississippi. We are getting 11,400 and sixteen dollars for the job let's get inside I guess we can start now so let's go where do we get out from Yeah, from there I believe. And this one doesn't have any AC as well. So without any air conditioner, we can't do anything. We'll have to put the glass down. The truck is very high. Let's take a wide turn. And as this one is only 10 speed, it does not have any low or high gear. Ok, 
Okay. We are getting out of Kingsland and soon we are going to enter Florida. This is the freeway. Will it be able to get on 70? I don't think so. But I'll try. We are almost in ninth gear. And it's only 47. Let's see if we can make it to 70. and we are being called in come on come on come on come on come on let me go let me go and he did not will he no he won't we are being called in Oh, we could not get a break. Hello, officer. 76,222 pounds that's good let me get accustomed with the 10 speed then we can be we will be able to move faster We are clear. Let's move to the middle lane. Just put the glass down, window down up teeny mini little bit so that I have I don't suffocate we are in Florida yes we were that close in Florida <laughs> 47 I uh, and I was almost I was almost missing my exit over here nine hours to go I was too busy working on the uh, axle trailer axle over there I thought I could put it to uh, put it up but the weight is too much I should not put it up he's gonna hurt the trailer 63 come on come on we are I 10 we are going westbound 
on I-10. We are westbound on I-10. I still forget those things. How much fuel do you have? 409. So we will need to refuel the truck. We are going 58 on 70 top speed. Okay. This is the problem with 10 speed transmission. 18 is so much better. Even 13 is much better than 10. But what happens is people use 10 speed because if you are in if you go with highways only you actually don't need all the other gears and that way you don't need to spend on spend on those uh, expensive 13 or much more expensive than 10th obviously 13 or 18 speed transmission box 10 speed is very good for freeways but they are not that good for going towards uh, hilly roads and everything you, you are gonna regret your shifter you are gonna regret if you take your truck of 10 speed gears in the mountain Ten thirty PM. We are still on I ten, going sixty seven mile per hour in seventy mile. Yeah, we are now seventy. I love the engine brake of these classic trucks. So good, man. So good. How do they do that? yeah the newer ones are so silent and that is good for the environment and all i know that is actually better but the sound of being the monstrous engine being held back is something different man i know it's just nostalgic but the sound is very good very good i love the sound I told you that I don't want the I don't want to drive a classic truck much but I am so crazy about uh, that uh, what do you call it engine brake of the classic trucks obviously and yes uh, we are still running in 1.43 the reason is we have got the coast to coast map updated we have got the canada dream updated we have got the canada promos updated the only thing that isn't updated yet for ats is the mexico the reform of mexico i'm still waiting for it this week will be the last of me driving in 1.44 at least in ATS if we in the next episode uh, in the next week if we do do not find the reformer updated we are gonna start without it yeah, I'm sorry but we'll have to do that maybe if we if we ever uh, get reformer updated we are going to run there but we will have to start because it's been a while that I'm waiting and 
in Europe we only are depending upon the pro mods so nothing to do over here unless and until pro mods is there even if it happens that the European pro mods are not ready even then we are gonna start 1.44 over here without the reformer mod okay this is the last week I promise I can't I can't wait I can't wait to drive 1.44 oh and no I did not drive in my profile yet I've been very busy and uh, I could not drive it on my own so it's okay I don't mind I would love to go through the and go through the uh, things the new things with you guys Tallahassee come on what's up man what's up what's up what's up what, what happened oh I forgot to check the horn anyway this is the this one is the air horn and this is the normal horn truck horn we are going 70 going good why did the truck move into this lane why did the car move into this lane I have no idea but they are crazy that was the midnight honk we are we were two minutes late nothing to do I I was thinking about doing it and then I missed the midnight mark we did not discover Tallahassee we are still in Florida come on we are always below 70 the engine power is not that good and the rev meter already the rev gauge already passed 1500 rpm so here it is showing red in my steering over here it's squeezing all the power out of this truck's engine but nothing to do that is what I was afraid that this time it will be a bit tough such a nice night and it's already Friday we started in Monday I believe and it's already Friday Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday is the fifth day we are running so not been a week and we have collected hundred thousand yeah it's a bit difficult to collect a million over here so no worries a hundred thousand is good we will be able to make money over here no worries there no worries But 
where can we find the fuel station a fuel gauge is it's not empty yet but it will be pretty soon we are hauling a heavy load yeah we got somewhere very near it is an hour from now 64 miles so we are good let's refuel the tank and that way we won't have any problem it's almost a straightforward road and hopefully in New Orleans we'll be able to get some job that will take us to west more west let's see what happens You can see the mark on the map. We are getting close. Only 30 miles left. We'll have to go on the other lane. We'll move there. We are clear. let's get slowed let's slow down come on man come on yes go 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 move move And this is going to be our exit. Ooh, sweet sound. Slow, man, slow. That's a truck stop. Okay, and now I get it. If they can't find a place in over here, they can stop over there in that in that parking area. Let me get the fuel, and I'll be back. Wait for a sec okay we are back let's get moving We are clear, I believe. Yes, we are. Oh, oh. 
way too close this is going to be the entry in the freeway come on come on come on you can do it you can do it you can do it go on yes yes almost there almost there yes baby he won't let us go so we'll move after him and we are back on the road Let's put it to cruise control and just relax. This one takes a lot of time, a long time to go upward. And this one is, wait a sec, let me, we are heading towards Alabama, sweet home Alabama. Sweet home Alabama Okay So we are going to get inside Alabama Hopefully Pensacola discovered Hello Pensacola We have discovered Pensacola In Florida The last city of Florida Over here On this side on the west side And we are going to go inside Come on, man. Come on, man. And hopefully they won't call us in way station. And hopefully there won't be any detours. So this is we are leaving Florida and that's Alabama yes that's Alabama for us are we clear on this lane yes we are let's move into this lane then oh nice I believe after the bridge Alabama starts or maybe tunnel ahead maybe Alabama already started yes it did already start the river is inside Alabama Woo! what a drop and it's going up again And that's another city I believe mobile is it the mobile yes mobile discovered hello mobile we have discovered mobile and this is our exit come on come on come on This is where I don't like 10 speed gearbox.
13 is very good for both and it's raining come on man every day when I put my windows down it has to rain Anyway, I'm not comfortable with the distance, bro. Come on. And how? How am I supposed to go there? Come on, stop. Okay. Seventy six thousand four hundred and sixty six. We are getting inside Mississippi. Or my pal Chess says Mississippi. We are in ninth. It's seventy five. Yeah, as if we'll be able to go 75 in this truck. Lol. Lol, man, lol. And this is Mississippi. We are getting inside. And that is also a short run. The Mississippi is a short part we are going through. Come on, rain. You better stop. I can see it no problem but the thing is I can't really stop in time within the time we are already in red portion with 65 just pull out the juice from the engine Are we going to discover Gulfport? We are an hour away from 
our destination and oh before uh, I mean I should have told you before why did I take this truck instead of any uh, Western Star 49X because I did not get any this was the only job believe me the only job in that city I was like what man all the other jobs were taken already gone so I was like okay let's take whatever I can get at least there is a new city we are going to so I'm okay with it we are leaving Mississippi and entering Louisiana Louisiana and we will have to take a, an exit over here somewhere New Orleans over here and yeah I think this is the one slow down thank you thank you the rain stopped slow down slow down you don't need to go fast that's a big drop that's a big drop yes you can Thank you. Whew. And the Freightliner is trying to race with me. Come on, man. We are 13 miles out, and I'm not gonna rain because I'm not gonna race because I'll have to exit over here, and that's from the Darwin. He's taking a load from the Darwin. 70 let's keep it 70 and the next exit will be ours new orleans discovered hello new orleans we are here to deliver empty pallets this is our exit let's slow down Slow, slow. Are we clear? Yes, we are clear. Let's stick on this lane. I think I should go a bit further yes this is better because I was uh, I was holding up the other lane as well this is where we take the right turn
whoa, whoa, whoa. And we will have to... Bro, thank you. This is our destination. This is where we go. So let's be careful. It's a long trailer. Yeah, they had to they had to put us over here. We are going to back up. We are good, I believe. Let's go. Let's pull up the glasses. Let's turn up the light. Let's go outside and unhook the trailer. We are good. It's perfect. 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 So, let's unhook the trailer, shall we? We came across 573 miles and got 1193 XP. We did not get into level 9. No worries. That's expected. So this is the end of episode 10 in the series. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Or you may skip it but I'll request you to subscribe. and put a thumbs up if you like the video put thumbs down if you didn't like the video but let me know let me know in the comments in this side let me know why you didn't like it hope to see you in the next episode we are going to try to go somewhere on the west we have been in the east let's go to the west and let's go to California okay so see you in the next episode till then stay safe take care and bye bye moves signing off